But nowhere is the struggle more obvious than among Japan's youth. And the place to find them is Harajuku, in Tokyo, on a Sunday afternoon. They set up cheek to jowl and play as loudly as they can. This is where they get to show off all that hair. And heels. And some even more unusual accessories. Older Japanese are so bewildered that they've labeled this entire generation the new human beings. But no matter how un-Japanese they might look now, most will someday put on a suit and become productive citizens again. In the meantime, there's no telling who's going to show up to enjoy the show. The straight-laced, homeless cowboys, or the next generation, already a little bored. Of course, if you're Elvis, you don't care who's watching. He's got all the right moves, and the shoes to prove it. But not everyone in Harajuku has an attitude. Some kids just want to ride their bike around the park. With a twist. The truth is, these kids aren't dropouts at all. They're just as dedicated as their parents are, doing what they want to do, having fun. So, if you should run into a new human being at the train station late one night, don't be afraid. This is Japan. He's probably just handing out free tissues.